thanks for watching Wild Creek Outdoors. Today we're gonna do a little video that I've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, when I'm out in a deer stand, I've always wondered how far a deer can actually hear a grunt tube like this. I've heard a lot of deer in the field and oftentimes the normal grunt that they do is pretty quiet. So I'm gonna do what I consider to be a normal grunt on this true talker here. And we're gonna test and see how far that we with, can hear it. And there's not much wind today. It's about seven miles an hour. So that's not gonna have much impact. We're gonna do it in an open area. So brush could have some factor with a little bit, but should give us a pretty close idea. All right there, stop. All right, so we have we're testing first. This is 25 yards that they're out. So we'll do our normal call. You guys hear it? Yeah. All right, 25 yards, they're good. I figured that would be an easy one. Let's go 50 yards. Stop. All right, they're at 52 yards. We'll do it again. Can you hear it? Yeah. Keep walking. Five yards we're getting a thumbs up they can still hear it keep going here we are they're out a hundred yards we'll test it again so maybe some of you guys have not directly had this question but I have had deer that I've known were around 200 yards away that I've grunted that and they haven't responded so the question to me, when I've wondered this in the field, is are the deer just ignoring the grunt tube or can they not actually hear it? So that's where this theory comes into place. All right, now we got them at 150 yards. So at 150 yards, they're telling us they can hear it, but just barely. So we're gonna go out to 200 and tell them to keep walking. Keep walking. Unmute it. She heard it. With her phone turned off, that's good. All right, keep walking. Keep walking. So at 300 yards, they lost contact, not able to hear it. So we're gonna try coming back the Primos can for the doe bleep. This is the mini can. So we're gonna try this to see where, same thing, same concept, answer the question of how far they can hear this. Cover it up. Could you hear that? No. Okay. Come come towards us. So at 300 yards, they could not hear the doe bleat can either. And just because you can have these tools, such as a grunt tube or a can, doesn't mean they're going to be useful in the areas that you're hunting. I'd say the most universal one that I've had the most success with is the grunt tube. Yes, 
or no? Could you feel that? We just had the can of 200 yards trying to see if they can hear it or not. So 200 yards is a no-go for the can. We got out to, what was it, 250? That they could hear it with the mm -hmm. current tube? Yes. So at 150 yards, they could hear it, but faintly. So that answers our questions here today. And pretty much perfect conditions, seven mile an hour wind, grunt tube, you can hear right out to about 250 yards, faintly. So I wouldn't say, I would say if you're grunting at a deer that's 250 yards away, don't be surprised if he ignores you because you're, he's not gonna hear it well. And the Primos can, that was only good out to 150 yards so we could hear that so anything beyond even 100 i would say most likely you're not going to get a response thanks for watching the video today thank you guys all of you that have subscribed to wild creek outdoors if you are not subscribed please consider clicking that subscribe button maybe liking the video and sharing it with your friends if you think you know somebody who would like it you guys have a great day